guys and welcome to the first episode of Robo Room, a series I've been working on that I'll be doing some home automation as well as some uh, messing around with Arduinos and Raspberry Pis and that kind of thing. Uh, what I showed earlier in the week was controlling these three LEDs from my oh that is blasting out the camera. Uh, controlling those three LEDs from my phone. I'm going to show you how to get that up and running on your Raspberry Pi and your iPhone or your Arduino very quickly and easily. Uh, it does not take basically any programming knowledge whatsoever. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the Blink applications. B B L Y N K. Download that and get that installed. Make sure it's ready to go. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the Raspberry Pi ready. If you check out my quick guide on how to get the Raspberry Pi uh, installed with Raspbian, updated, and ready to go, because that's the state we're going to need it in prior to uh, using the Blink application to control uh, the GPIO ports. Uh, once it's connected to your network as well as uh, power and it's, it's booted up, make sure that everything's updated, everything's ready to go. We're going to connect the GPIO ports to, I'm just using a breadboard here uh, for simplicity's sake. Once you understand the concept of how to control these GPIO ports with the Blink application, uh, there's other applications that can be used for this. So uh, controlling relays to control light switches. You can make internet-based light switches or uh, outlets, that kind of thing. You're going to want to pick, I, I chose three, but you want to pick a, a couple of GPIO ports that you want to play around with and connect those to the positive lead of your LED. Uh, check out a pinout of the Raspberry Pi. I'm using GPIO 417 and I think 27. Uh, once those are connected to the positive lead on your LED, you're going to want to connect the negative lead to the ground on the Raspberry Pi or ground that you have available in the project you're working on. I'm just grounding out through the breadboard. Once that's all ready to go, we're going to open up Blink, you can see it here, and you're going to add a button. Once you've added a button, you're going to select where it says GPI GPIO GP4. You're going to select that, and then you're just going to select the, the GPIO port that you have connected to that LED, or the relay, whatever you're using. That is all of the work that needs to be done on the application as well as setting up the Raspberry Pi physically. Now what we need to do is we need to tell that into the Raspberry Pi to get the application in Blink application running and ready to go. So let's jump over to Putty and we'll get that going. Once you've connected to your Raspberry Pi using Putty, the first thing we're going to need to install is called Wiring Pi. Uh, links to this will be in the description down below. Uh, but you're going you're gonna to make sure that you can download and build the Blink application, the Wiring Pi. So you're going to do git clone and then this address. Uh, you can leave it at that, but I would go through and do uh, the change directory to the Blink library slash Linux and then make clean all target equals raspberry. So once this is installed, you're going to want to go through and run it. Now, this says to run the Blink application to do this code here. Um, that did not work for me. I needed to go into the actual folder and run it. So I'll show you how to get there. The other thing you're going to need is your authentication token from Blink. When you're inside of a project inside of the Blink application, you can go in and you it gives you this huge long list of letters and numbers. You can have that emailed to you so you don't have to. Uh, memorize it or try and uh, type it all out without screwing it up. You have it emailed to you, you can just copy and paste. So the first thing we're going to do is after we've installed and wiring pi is done installing and uh, downloading and installing, we're going to change directory to wiring pi. And from there we're going to go into the blink library. Now I had to do this manually only because I had trouble uh, getting it to run from the main screen. Next we're going to go into the Linux folder and then from here we're going to run the sudo dot slash blink and then your authentication token. So let me clear this so it's a little bit nicer and 
I'll find my there we go so you can see I'm gonna run the blink application and my my token is huge so it's not something you want to try and type in manually uh, you're gonna want to copy and paste that into here once you run this you're gonna see that the Raspberry Pi is kind of like in this running mode and it's gonna stay here now what this is doing is, is connecting the Pi to your network so that you can use it for um, the blink application on your phone this is all the work you need to do to get blink up and running on the Pi. is download and install wiring Pi, and then run it with your authentication token that's given to you based on the project that you're working on each project is going to have its own authentication token so let's jump back over to the android and the Pi, and i'll show you where that authentication token is as well as other applications that this would make sense for using not just controlling leds all right now to get the authentication token once you're in the blink let me make sure this lines up once you're in the blink application there's a little uh you can't really see it because it's uh, not gonna focus properly but there's a little uh like a cog wheel or a nut at the top of the screen once you click that you'll see that you have the option to name your application as well as uh choose the board that you're working on so you're going to want to choose raspberry pi and then your version and then you're going to have the authentication token which is this huge string of, of characters email that to yourself because typing that out is a pain once you've done once the pi is up and running it's wired up to the leds you have added the buttons to the dashboard of blink you can hit the play button up in the top. If you get a little error at the bottom that says that your Pi is not in the network, it means it's not connected to the network or the application is not running on the Pi. Once that's done, you can switch on your LEDs by just adding a button. No coding necessary. The only thing you do is you control which GPIO port the application is controlling by choosing it inside the button options. Now, I know controlling an LED is not something that makes a lot of sense uh, in the world of home automation. But because you can control the GPIO ports, the state of those, you can then change that into, convert that into controlling a relay. Now this is an eight port relay. They come in various sizes, eight, four, two, and one uh, are the ones I typically use. But because you can control the GPIO port, you can control the state of this relay. Now this would control uh, eight different outlets so if you had like a power strip that you wanted to connect to the internet and have the ability to turn on and off uh, uh, at, a, at an interval or at a specific timing or whenever you're just walking into the house you want to be able to click that on when you're connected to your network you can do that by using blink the GPIO ports from the Raspberry Pi your relay and wiring this up uh, that is a project I will be working on in the future I won't be using the Pi I'll be using an ESP 8266 but that'll be another tutorial in the future hopefully this was useful to you it took a little bit to understand how to get the Raspberry Pi up and running with the blink application so that you could um, you could use it and wrapping my head around not actually having to write any code was a little bit difficult but using blink the Raspberry Pi and controlling the GPIO ports, very simple, very easy for beginners to get into, and it opens the door to a whole world of home automation if you apply those concepts properly to uh, like a relay or something like that. So hopefully this was useful to you. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Everything I have used will be in the link in the description, uh, including links to the products I used, as well as the installation guide for wiring Pi. Like always, guys, good luck and have fun.